Hi, I'm Lana Jones with BlueBunnyHollow.com. I have a new collection of seven designs for embroidered Christmas cards. The finished side is seven or seven and a half by five. Trimming it to seven by five will then fit in an A7 envelope. The A7 envelope is seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. However, things get written wrong on the envelope and we need to replace it. Or we just don't have the size we need for a handmade card. So here are instructions on how to make an envelope that fits this set of embroidered cards. The tools needed can be as simple as a cutting mat, rotary cutter, a ruler with 45 degree markings, and a burnisher or a stylus with a pointy end. Optionally, a small cutting mat and a small roll and press become very handy. Or you can use a scoring board that I will be showing you later in this video. We will start with using what you probably have on hand, burnisher, rotary cutter, mat and ruler. For the envelope, 20 to 60 pound paper works well. Using either an 11 by 17 or a 12 by 12 paper, cut it down to 10 by 10 inches. The envelope has two small triangles and two large triangles. We will mark the small triangles first. Place the 45 degree marking of the ruler along the left edge of the paper. Measure three and a quarter inches from the corner. Using the burnisher, score along the top edge of the ruler. Repeat for the opposite corner. The measurement for the large corner is four and a quarter inches. Notice the ruler does not fit across the paper. No problem. Place a longer ruler along the top edge of the first ruler, remove the first ruler, and score the line with a burnisher. Repeat for the opposite corner. Another way to score the paper for the corners is to use a scoring board. There are several brands on the market. The one I purchased a while ago was Martha Stewart's. It comes with an envelope guide and a bone folder. All the pieces store nicely in the board. No lost pieces. The envelope guide shows where to score for the size envelope needed. I'll be using the A7 size envelope for this project. Place the envelope guide in the upper left corner of the scoring board. Then place the paper along the edge of the guide, ensuring that the left corner of the paper touches the right side of the ruler. The guide says to make the small triangles three and a quarter inches. Find three and a quarter inches on the envelope guide and run the bone folder straight down the indented line of the scoring board. Repeat for the opposite corner. For the large triangles, the guide says to use four and a quarter inches. Find four and a quarter inches on the envelope guide and run the bone folder straight down the indented line. Repeat for the opposite side. Fold the small corners first. Then I like to use a roller press to crease the edges well. Repeat this process for the large corners.
When the envelope is folded, you'll see that you have to cut off the small triangle in the center of the envelope. You can use scissors or slip a small cutting mat into the envelope and cut from corner to corner of that small triangle. Then I like to leave the mat in there so when I glue the bottom of the card, I don't accidentally glue the envelope together. You can use a glue stick, double-sided tape, or dab and seal envelope moistener and adhesive. Place your choice of adhesive along the left and right edge of the inside of the bottom large triangle. Fold the large triangle up and finger press to adhere to the envelope. When the glue is dried, place the card in the envelope and seal with your choice of adhesives. Address and mail it. Thanks for watching and enjoy your sewing adventures. <laughs>